Hi there, this is Jen, and thanks so much for stopping by today. Today I have a project for a visible image using a few of their stamp sets. And I'm going to be trying a new technique today using some watercolor and acrylic paint. Um, so the stamp sets that I'm using from Visible Image um, are this first one here is called Shining Bright. This is a new to me stamp set. I've never used it before. And uh, it's got these really cool light bulbs. So two different sizes of light bulbs and then some sentiments. And then I'm also going to use one of the stamps from the Meshellaneous, which is a great stamp set for um, adding little details in the background. Um, I'm starting out with a five by seven piece of watercolor cardstock and then my Mission watercolors. And then I'm just using the cheap 50 cent um, acrylic white paint. And then this is going to be my spreader. Uh, you can use whatever you have, a card, a piece of cardboard. Um, that is a actually a cake supply tool <laughs> that I use for a spreader. Um, but I'm going to start out with a little bit of water and a fairly thick brush. And I went ahead and I spritzed my watercolors. Uh, the ones that I'm using are the uh, oranges and the yellows. And I'm just going to take my brush and dip into the pans and add a little bit of watercolor. Um, the great thing about this technique is you can really experiment um, doing this and laying the color down in whatever way you want to lay that color down. Um, it was, I only did two samples today, but it was really fun. Um, and I think it would be an awesome a technique to uh, do a rainbow of colors and spread that around the card. So with the watercolors still wet, um, I'm going to spread a little bit of white acrylic paint. And then I'm going to take my spreader and I'm just going to drag it down the card and kind of move it around a little bit uh, to get that color to move. Um, and so basically what's happening is that acrylic paint is grabbing the watercolor and spreading it. Um, you can definitely try this without the acrylic paint, but I think the acrylic paint helps that watercolor uh, move um, down the paper. Um, it might be a little more difficult without that. Um, and so uh, just really fun. And then I'm just taking some of the leftovers and just making some marks with the edge of that spreader uh, to give a little bit more detail. At this point, I wasn't really sure exactly how my card layout was going to be. Um, I was going to use this as a background initially, and then I was like, well, I want to play with it a little bit more. And so I do end up playing around with another um, panel. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, add a little bit of splatter, of course. So you can see that wonderful texture from that um, extra that came off of the spreader. Uh, I was a little off words. And then I'm taking another 5x7 watercolor paper. And this time I'm going to go ahead and try some of these Ken Oliver color bursts. The colors I'm using are Wisteria, Marigold, and Peony. And uh, these are powders, so I'm just going to spread the powder on the cardstock, and um, then I will activate these with water. Um, these are the only two mediums I experimented with, but it would be really fun to try really anything that would be spreadable, I guess. Um, pastes or anything like that uh, would be really fun. I just thought it would be uh, interesting to see what the powders did. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I spritz those with the water. This actually makes a really pretty kind of fall color combination just looking at it right now. But I'm going to go ahead and take my, my uh, spreader again. I added some white acrylic paint and I'm just going to drag that. And I honestly really love the way it looks right now, but I ended up kind of taking that dark color, got caught against the spreader um, and that's mainly the color that kind of gets spread around but I'm just twisting it in a circle um, trying to move that color and the um, acrylic paint around just to see what it does and what kind of pattern I get and then again I'm going to take the stuff that's on the edge of the spreader and just um, add that across the um, a panel just to get rid of it as well as to just add um, a little more I guess character <laughs> to the project. I go ahead and clean that up and I'm going to grab one of my favorite things which is drywall tape. 
Um, and I just added this for a little bit of texture. I ended up removing it. Um, again, like a lot of the <laughs> cards that I do, especially mixed media, um, it's a lot of experimentation and seeing what happens when you do certain things. And so that's kind of what I'm doing here. Just having a lot of fun playing around with this um, and seeing what happens. Um, but I went ahead and I stuck that drywall tape down and then I add a little more of the powders. I was trying to get a little more of the color to come through um, so it just wasn't that kind of maroony color. But um, I think this way, once I spritzed it again, you can see uh, a little more of those colors and then I'm just moving the grid around then I'm going to take my heat tool I'll go ahead and dry that up um, drying it up is going to leave that impression of the grid um, of course you can use a stencil or anything else that was just something that I had sitting there and so I thought I'd go ahead and throw it on there um, and then I will remove that piece uh, once it has dried and then I'm going to add one of my favorite metallic watercolor sets. I believe this is called CSY. They are handmade watercolors. Um, it's one I use a lot. I think it's uh, the gold is one of the goldiest golds <laughs> um, that I have. And I think it turns out really beautifully. And so I like to add it to a lot of different things. Um, it's really stunning against kind of this darker background here. But I go ahead and I splatter that on both of the backgrounds. And then I'll hold that up and you can see just how um, beautiful that is when the light catches it. Um, it's just a really beautiful metallic watercolor. Of course, uh, you can use whatever watercolor you want to add this effect uh, or any other kind of shimmer would work as well. And then I'm going to stamp up the bigger light bulb onto the yellow paper. Um, it, I had to stamp it up a few times for one because it is a watercolor paper, which um, although this is not super rough, it um, does uh, take a little bit more to stamp. Um, as well, there is the gold splatter on there and the lines from that acrylic paint that make this a little bit rougher. So um, I did stamp this up a few times and I did also, before I stamped, added my anti-static bag uh, so that I could apply the clear embossing powder. Um, and usually I don't apply my anti-static bag when I'm using clear, um, but I did not want any of the clear stuck um, on the outside of the bulb. Um, and so once I've applied the clear embossing powder, I'm gonna go ahead and take my heat tool and <laughs> melt the powder. Um, and then I'm going to fussy cut and I fussy cut right along the line. I wanted the uh, line to show still, of course, uh, because it is the outline of the bulb, um, but I did not want any white space around the outside. And so I'm just taking my cutter bee scissors and uh, cutting that light bulb out. And then I went ahead and I trimmed it down the five by seven panel that uh, was created earlier and matted that on a piece of five by seven black cardstock. Um, and then I'm taking the stamp from the miscellaneous set and I have a little bit of white, that same white acrylic paint and I'm stamping in the acrylic paint and then stamping onto my project. Um, and this cleans up really easily. I just take it in the kitchen and run it under some water um, and it comes out really uh, great so that I can use it next time and there is nothing stuck in there. Um, and then I just took some of my scrap papers to use as uh, a backing to add a little bit of dimension to the light bulb and um, went ahead and I adhered that to the card. Uh, and then this is a new purchase for me, uh, these Pink Fresh, they're called Gold Glitter Drops. Um, um, really, you can make these on your own if you wanted to. Um, they are basically just drops of uh, gold. Um, so similar to if you have any stickles or Nouveau drops that are gold, uh, you can put them down on a mat and let them dry and you'll basically have the same thing. Uh, but these were pretty, and so I went ahead and I grabbed them um, in a few different colors, but I thought the gold would work perfectly here. And that is my card for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did like this video or find it informative, I would love it if you would give a thumbs up. Um, as always, thanks so much for uh, spending some time with me today, and I hope to see you next time.